Good afternoon, everyone. Congressman Tom Rooney here to give you an update as to what happened over the last two weeks in Congress. As you already know, last Friday, our Republican leadership pulled the American health care bill from the House floor, and I left town feeling extremely disappointed and frustrated by our party's failure to govern. We made a promise to the American people that if given the opportunity, the Republican Party would make the health care system work better for everyone, and we failed. I had every intention of voting for the bill that would have repealed and truly fixed Obamacare. Was it a perfect bill? No, it wasn't. But as I promised at our town hall in Inglewood, we included pre-existing conditions in our bill, and it was better than the failing system we have in place today. The bill focused on a patient-centered system rather than government, and we as a party need to do a better job of communicating that to the American people. Let me make something perfectly clear. I have never once wanted to just let Obamacare fail to prove a political point, but for some in our party, letting Obama's health care plan fail is the strategy, and that's not fair and it's not right. That's not solving problems. It's childish. As elected officials, we're sent here to make tough choices and to re represent the people, not to just be obstructionists for the sake of it or because it makes us famous on cable TV, or worse yet, because it helps our re-elections and being called congressmen is more important than actually serving as one. As so I sit here today, I honestly don't know what the future holds for health care. Next, while many of President Trump's cabinet and secretary picks have been confirmed over the last few weeks, Supreme Court nominee Neil Gorsuch is still patiently waiting his turn. You want to know why Neil Gorsuch hasn't been confirmed yet? Because of senators like Bill Nelson from Florida. I'd like to hear a single Democrat give a legitimate reason not to support Judge Gorsuch. Ten years ago, not one single Democrat senator opposed Neil Gorsuch confirmation for the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Tenth Circuit, including Senator Nelson. Now many senators are putting partisan politics above what's best for this country by holding up Judge Gorsuch's confirmation. Nelson says the federal court is different than the Supreme Court. No, Senator, your job is to determine whether a candidate is qualified or not, and you failed. Also, President Donald Trump signed an executive action that would create a commission to review how well the federal government is helping combat our country's terrible opioid epidemic, which is still spreading at an alarming rate. Every time I'm home, I hear from everyone from local law enforcement to veteran service officers who consistently tell me that opioid abuse is one of the biggest challenges in our communities. In addition to the President's announcement, I dropped a bill with New York City Congressman Dan Donovan called the Comprehensive Fentanyl Control Act. Our bill tries to stop the sale of the extremely de deadly synthetic opioid fentanyl, which dealers are mixing with other drugs and can be fatal in as small a dose as a grain of salt. Yesterday, I also attended a meeting with Intelligence Committee Chairman Devin Nunes, Ranking Member Adam Schiff, and fellow Intel Member Trey Gowdy from South Carolina to discuss our path forward as a committee. We are all committed to getting to the bottom of the issues facing our intelligence community. And finally, yesterday at the Republican Deputy Whip meeting, I had the honor of getting to listen to one of my policy heroes and former Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice to get her seasoned and well-reasoned perspective on the state of global affairs we face today. She talked about the urgency of stopping North Korea's nuclear program, countering Russian propaganda around the world, and the importance of a broad national security budget that provides the military resources needed to defeat ISIS now and to keep these areas secure well into the future. That's all I have for you this week. Thanks again for taking the time to listen to this message. I hope that you and your families have a great weekend.